it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today we're making something that we used to all eat at Christmas time, and that is old fashioned potato candy. It was always at Granny's. Um, it's super simple to make. All you need is four ingredients. Yep, some baked potatoes, vanilla, creamy peanut butter, and powdered sugar. That's all there is to it. The main thing you need to make sure and do is have your potatoes cooled enough that they're not going to melt your powdered sugar. Make sure they're good and done. You don't want lumpy potato candy either. So we're going to get started on this. It's going to be so simple. And we're going to start off by taking our potato, peeling it, and getting it in this mixer. So you'll see we've got the potatoes, good old Watkins vanilla, creamy Jif peanut butter, and some powdered sugar. Today is the SEC Championship game. Alabama plays Georgia. We'll just have to see what happens, won't we? And if you got a bad place on the end of your potato like that one did, pinch it off. All right, I'm gonna put this one in there. We're gonna go ahead and finish peeling this one. Yeah, sometimes the ends have got kind of a brown hard spot and you're gonna to wanna to pinch those off. When you peel back this peeling, if there's more brown spots, just take them out of there because you want a pretty white candy. All right, that's all there is to that. Now that's our potato. Now all we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of vanilla in here. And then we're just gonna be adding powdered sugar. That's all there is to it. potato and it's supposed to take a pound of powdered sugar per medium potato and I used a big a large potato and then I also used another medium so we're just going to be making a lot of candy that's probably going to do it and I emptied the flour out of it. We're gonna put a little powdered sugar in it because we're gonna lay this out on the counter and I'm just gonna dust it with some powdered sugar. And I'm just gonna get it out about a handful at a time. And this is how much we'll make to start with. Yummy, yum. Let's get our little um, rolling pin. And roll it out. And then you're going to spread your peanut butter on it. You're going to roll it up. Um, get our peanut butter. We're going to spread it on here. Yum, yum. So there 
goes to it, y'all. Pretty easy candy, right? So now we're going to roll it. Up. It's wanting to stick. Let me get out my scraper. Now I'm just gonna pull it out like a bar, like that. We're gonna put a little bit more powdered sugar on here and we're gonna slice it. And I'm gonna show you how pretty it looks on a tray. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And easy too, y'all. You just need to let it cool down a minute before you slice it and get you a nice knife. And then you're just going to take your knife. You don't really have to refrigerate it. Just let it sit on the counter for a few minutes and then take your knife and cut your slices. And this is a really rich candy, so you don't need them to be really big pinwheels. That's plenty um, enough for somebody to get something good to eat. You can put this in the refrigerator and keep it for a long time. There's really nothing in it that's going to go bad for a while. Old fashioned peanut butter candy. Boy, it's pretty. If you wash your knife every time you cut it, it's going to be nice and, and pretty and spiral looking. Boy, is it cute. Cute, cute, and delicious. Just like Granny. Just like Granny made. All right, y'all. You know, some of these old-fashioned candies never go out of style, do they? Y'all have a wonderful day. And we thank you so much for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Good old-fashioned Southern cooking. Bye, y'all. Love ya.